Hello everyone, this is Bo again. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 15 items or 15 things that are commonly forgotten in an actual wedding day here in the Philippines. So since we're talking about a Philippine setup, I'll do my best to speak in Tagalog, but please do bear with me kasi isa pa kong pure Bisaya. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, our first on the list is posporo. Tanong, importante ba ang posporo sa isang kasal? The answer is yes! Napaka-importante po ng posporo sa isang wedding ceremony. If you notice, Ang kasal natin dito sa Pilipinas is like it's part of the mass. And if you notice, meron tayong principal sponsors, yung mga ninong at ninang natin. Meron din tayong secondary sponsors, yung maglalagay ng veil, cord, at maglalight ng candle. So, ano ang gamit ng posporo? Simple. Ito ay gagamitin ng isa sa secondary sponsors na maglalight ng candle. So, as a couple, as much as possible, mag-prepare na lang kayo ng match or posporo at ibibigay nyo ito sa secondary sponsors nyo na, magla na maglalight ng candle. Kasi based on experience, may na-attend na ako, maraming kasal na akong natinan kung saan it's like, it's too embarrassing ba on the part of the secondary sponsors na maglalight ng candle? Na, nandun na sila sa front ng altar, tapos wala silang dalang posporo or lighter. At like, titingin pa sila sa audience, titingin pa sila sa mga guests, kung mag, mag, ano, magsisignal pa sila kung sino nakadala ng posporo, sino nakadala ng lighter. So, ganun. At it, it's really too embarrassing at nakakaawa sila tingnan. Um, there was even a time na naka-attend ako ng wedding kung saan nung time pa na nasa front na yung secondary sponsors na maglalight ng candle, yun pa yung time na lumabas may isa sa, you know, ka, siguro family member ng bride or groom, lumabas pa sa simbahan para bumili ng posporo sa pinakamalapit na tindahan. So, it's too inconvenient and it's too time-consuming. So, as much as possible, prepare na lang kayo um, in advance ng posporo. Para on the wedding day, maybe mag-assign ka ng isang family member or mag-assign kayo ng family member nyo na mag- uh, magbibigay ng posporo sa secondary sponsor na maglalight ng candle. So actually, yun ang isang use ng, yun ang isang gamit ng posporo sa isang wedding. Actually, dalawa ang uses niya. Yung pangalawa, um, de ba, yung kasal again is nakapaloob siya sa misa. And sa misa natin dito sa um, Philippines, and I think it's also the same in other countries, we have offertory. And if you notice, sa offertory, um, first na ibibigay is yung candle. May candle din. Dalawang candle. Diba? So, it also happened before yung wedding ng cousin ko. Few years back, um, walang nakadala ng lighter or posporo. So, nung, nung dadalhin na yung candle sa front, Balisang balisa kami, like, we don't know what to do kasi wala namang nagdala ng posporo or lighter. So, it, it took some time before we found one. Um, kailangan pa namin, you know, humanap ng taong nagsisigarilyo kasi yung mga tao na yun, nagdadala talaga sila ng, ng lighter. So, yeah. So, it, it's really too hassle, it's too inconvenient, and it's also too time-consuming. So, to avoid or to prevent that from happening in your wedding as much as possible, prepare matchstick or maybe um, lighter beforehand. Maybe mag, uh, maybe sa yung posporo, lagyan nyo lang, nyo lang ng ribbon or you can cover it with anything same sa motif ng, ng wedding nyo. Now, our second item on the list is fan or kamay pai. And alam nyo, yung bride at groom, yung sinusuot nyo, 
napakainit niyan. Um, I, I have witnessed um, a lot of brides na nagsasuffer talaga sila sa init. Init ng gown, um, init ng crowd, init ng simbahan. So, and I've noticed na especially yung ginamit na makeup is hindi siya gaano ka-branded or hindi gaano ka, you know, hindi nag-stick sa mukha. Tapos, pawis na pawis ka. Pawis na pawis yung bride. So, it, it, it will end up na, you know, mawawash off yung, yung foundation, um, yung makeup. And, there was even a time na kitang-kita talaga siya sa picture, yung you know, yung circles ng sweat dito, sa ilong, tsaka dito. So, to prevent that from happening, um, as much as possible, pwede naman kayo mag-prepare ng fan, pamaypay, na naka, yung kulay is nakamatch sa motif nyo para maganda siya tingnan. Um, if hindi kayo comfortable dalhin yun, maybe padala nyo sa isa sa inyong family member or isa sa inyong bridesmaid or groomsmen tapos hingin nyo na lang yung pamaypay once nasa, nasa front ng altar na kayo. Kasi, um, may electric fan naman sa simbahan pero um, there's a tendency kasi na malayo yung electric fan sa inyo hindi nakafocus sa inyo so pawis na pawis kayo to prevent yourself from looking haggard while you are um, while you're still having the, the wedding ceremony so at least magdala na lang kayo ng pamaypay para at least um, hindi kayo masyadong pawisin. Or, if not, you can, um, high-tech na tayo ngayon. It's already 21st century. So, pwede kayong um, magdala ng portable fan at, para at least hindi na, hindi kayo like masyadong malikot. Kasi malikot yung kamay nyo sa pagpapaypay sa sarili nyo. So, yun ang gamit ng fan. Our next item on the list po ay ang mga offertory um, items or yung mga offertory natin. So again, since our wedding ceremony is part chasa misa, di ba, uh, may offertory na na part ang mass. So, I think um, if I if I can, I'll do my best to create a separate video on the things na pwede, pwede nyo i-offer during the mass. So, yeah. Yung offertory items. Kasi it, it happened um, during our wedding. Muntik nang makalimutan yung mga um, offertory items namin. Kasi nakalagay siya sa, nakalagay lang siya sa, sa Celia. And, you know, as a bride and groom, you will be very busy on the wedding day already. So, para hindi siya makalimutan, siguro it's better na mag-assign ka ng isang groomsman ba or isang bridesmaid na mag-make sure na madala yung mga offertory items niyo sa simbahan while, you know, while you're traveling. Now, our fourth item is ang coin pouch. So, from the word itself, coin pouch. So, de ba may aras or my coins? So, we call it here in Visaya as aras. So, I'm not sure if anong tawag nyo sa Tagalog. But, uh, or in English, these are the coins. Now, um, the ba part sa wedding ceremony yung ibibigay ng husband, yung, yung nung groom, yung coins sa bride. And it's, it's, it's too um, uncomfortable if, you know, you'll just hold it all the time. Kasi may mga ibang gagawin pa kayo yung mag-hold hands, part ng ceremony, tapos ibibless yung hands nyo sa pari. So, it's too inconvenient talaga. So, as much as possible, um, bring a coin pouch. It's color white. And I think it's available sa lahat ng church. Siguro, once magpapabook kayo, um, bibigyan kayo ng coin pouch ng church um, personnel. I think alam naman nila yan. Pero if if hindi kayo nabigyan nung nagpabook kayo, then, then pwede kayo bumili ng coin, coin pouch in color white. So, para may malagyan. And as much as possible also, just a suggestion, um, 
it, kasi yung 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 gown ng bride wala naman siyang bulsay. So si groom na lang um magwear siya ng ng slack siguro na may pocket para once malagay yung coin sa coin pouch um ilalagay ni, ni groom yung coin pouch sa bulsa niya. May mga slacks kasi na walang bulsa so yung ano na lang yung mm, Hindi naman siguro uso na ang barong sa isang groom ngayon. Uh, tuxedo na or pang-Americano na yung uso ngayon. So, make sure lang na may bulsa siya. Like, maybe dito sa loob para malagay yung coin pouch at mas safety yung coins. Um, the fifth item that we have is yung garter. So, this is based on experience. Kasi, sobrang busy man na eh. Um, marami kayong iniisip during the, or on, on the actual wedding day. And, nung sinuot ko na yung gown, kasi nagme-makeup pa, nagsuot ng gown, nagpipiktorial pa, nakalimutan ko isuot yung garter. At, na-remember ko lang na wala akong suot na garter nung nasa reception na kami. So, ang ginawa ko, kasi part sa, ano natin eh, part sa wedding tradition natin, yung kukuni ng, ng groom, yung garter sa paa ng bride. So, hindi talaga nawawala-wala yan. So, yung ginawa ko, ay, ayaw ko na sanang ipakuha kasi malayo, medyo malayo yung bahay namin sa um, sa venue. So, yung ginawa ko, I asked one of my cousins to get the garter at home and then, since we were in front, um, mataas naman yung, yung cloth cover ng, ng table. So, hindi, hindi nahalata ng mga tao na yun pa yung time na um, isinuot ko yung garter. So, brides, please do make sure na masuot nyo yung garter. Natan na siguro kung ang reception nyo is nasa bahay, then you're, you're good to go. Um, walang dapat balikan, balikan pa sa bahay. Okay, so ang pang-anim na bagay is ang slipper or flip-flop or any comfortable shoes for the bride. Um, this was based on experience kasi ang isinuot, usually naman isusuot ng bride is yung mahaba yung heels at ang sakit-sakit nun sa paa. At that time, hindi ko na-tolerate yung sakit kasi may ano na siya eh, parang nag I'm not sure how it's called in Tagalog but nag-create na siya ng, ng maliit na wound sa sa my ankle. So napakasakit talaga. So thankfully na lang yung yung ginawa ko um lumapit ako sa cousin ko yung during picture taking. Lumapit ako sa cousin ko, sabi ko sa kanya, um pahiram ng chinelas mo. At ikaw na lang magsuot ng sandal, sandal na sinusuot ko. Kasi total naman pauwi na sila. So kami is um nandun pa sa reception. So, medyo matatagalan pa ang uwi. Tapos, if, if I will continue to wear that sandal, um, it will it will be too painful sa pa. So, yun. If you can, uh, maybe you can bring shoes or a slipper na while nakaupo kayo sa chair no, nyo on the venue or on the wedding reception, at least you can change. At least you can change your, your sandal or your your high heels into something comfortable. All right, so our next item on the list is ang pin at ang envelope. To be honest, um, on our wedding day, I just wanted to share, nakalimutan ko na talaga yung pin at ang envelope. So, alam din na siguro kung anong gamit nito, ginagamit ito ng audience or ng guests sa pag pin ng money during money dance sa gown ng bride at saka sa suit ng groom. Um, it so happened that time na hindi na namin siya na nati-think, hindi na namin siya naiisip. Very thankfully na lang na may isa sa um, kapamilya namin na nagdala, nagme-make sure na madala yung pin at ang envelope. So, importante pa na may envelope. Um, okay lang naman yung pin lang yung ipoprovide nyo. Pero meron kasing ibang ibang guest na hindi sila comfortable 
na itin agad yung yung money. So, gusto nila ilagay muna sa envelope, tapos yung envelope yung ipipin nila sa, sa damit nyo. So, if you can, um, you can provide siguro mga envelopes na nakamatch sa motif nyo, or maybe um, white envelopes para hindi masyadong mahal, or yung, yung mga Chinese envelopes, yung color red. So, pwede din kayo mag-provide ng ganun. So, our next item is we have the wine glass. So, I know, alam nyo na kung, kung saan gagamitin ang wine glass, kung paano siya gamitin. Um, In-include ko siya dito kasi I have attended a wedding before na yung sinaslice na yung cake. And at the same time, di ba follow na yun yung, yung drinking of wine? So, naka-attend ako ng wedding before na yun, yun pa na time na naghahanap pa ng wine glass, nagbabarrow pa ng wine glass sa kapitbahay. So, it's really too time-consuming kasi naghihintay yung audience, eh. naghihintay yung mga guests natin na matapos kayo sa, sa ceremonies, matapos kayo sa program, and it's really time-consuming. So, as much as possible, prepare the wine glass beforehand. So our next item is ang Bible. And um, yes, of course, because we you have the Bible bearer. So prepare a Bible beforehand. Because hindi yan it provide ng church. Not unless siguro kung may kakilala kayo sa na na nagtatrabaho sa church, then pwede kayo mag-borrow. But as, as much as possible, you please buy your own Bible. Anyway naman, magagamit nyo naman yan kung bubukod na kayo or mag-create mag, um, na kayo ng sarili nyo um, family. Next is ang ring. Of course, yung sing sing. I think, hindi naman siguro nakakalimutan yan. Alright, so uh, ang next item natin is ang coins. So, I'm sure alam nyo na yan. And next is rosary. Yung sa wedding namin, um, pina-include talaga yung rosary. Tatlo lang naman yan eh. You know, we have the Bible bearer, the coin bearer, and the ring bearer. Pero yung sa wedding namin, in-include yung rosary. Uh, marami kasi kaming kakilala na mga religious na um, nag nagsiserve sa church at sinasuggest nila na magdala ng rosary. So, we also had rosary bearer. And, blinas ng pari lahat ng things na ito. Yung Bible, yung coins, yung ring, at saka yung rosary. And then, we also have, of course, the cord. And, lastly, the veil. I think hindi naman siguro ito nakakalimutan. Uh, so far, wala pa akong na na wedding na hindi nakadala ng cord at saka yung veil. Kasi if you have a wedding coordinator, sila na yung magdadala nito at mag-make sure na hindi ito na left at home. And so far, um, yun ang labing limang gamit na kadalasan na iiwan or nakakalimutan dalhin in an actual wedding day here sa Philippines. And just a tip lang siguro para, para wala talagang makalimutan, maybe ilagay nyo siya sa isang isang spot sa bahay nyo the day before or as much as possible like prepare all these things beforehand like maybe few days before your wedding at ilagay nyo siya sa isang spot para naman uh, pag, pag wedding day nyo na at pupunta na kayo sa church at least naka, nakalagay siya sa isang spot or maybe um, you have a, a, a basket or a bag or a plastic bag or anything na nakakompile lahat yun para hindi talaga siya makalimutan. So, so far that's it. And I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day!